Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here, and we're having vacation breakfast because we slept in ish this morning. Okay, so a couple of things. One, the wife put the kibosh on the bar, and she makes a good point that I didn't think of because I don't see it from that angle. If you're looking at, at it from her perspective, that is incredibly intrusive. It's hitting her knee, but more importantly, it's going to block the airbag. So I need to change that, but I've got an easy solution. I can replace this bolt right here. I can take that one out and I can put the bolt to attach that up through there, and that way it's right next to the thingy for the ram mount, and it won't be in the way at all. So I'm gonna do that now. First things first, I'm going to cut up all these freaking boxes because the trash pickup is late. Let's cut boxes. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this in the easiest way that I possibly can, which means the laziest way. I don't wanna to have to take any more shit out of here than I already have to. Yeah, I'm probably gonna to have to take the whole freaking thing apart, right? Okay, so first things first, I gotta take all this shit apart. I thought this was gonna be easier today because it wasn't as hot. That was before the sun fully came out and is now baking me. Plus I'm already roasting ass hot from cutting all that cardboard up. gonna have to put a piece of foam in there because that's gonna rub okay kids it's all in it's where it needs to be now I'm gonna do one reinforcement now I cut a lot of this out of the video when I did the original install but I was saying how I would have to keep her from grabbing this pole to use it as a like a brace it just have it you see the pole there you grab it you pull yourself in and out whatever and I didn't want her to do that because it's only screwed at the bottom with the bolt. So there's nothing really holding in place except for a few threads on the bolt. But I am going to put a reinforcement, like a, you know, those things where there's like two brackets and you, you bolt them in and they, and they just come in tighter and tighter. So I'm going to do that and bolt this thing as high up as I can onto the ram mount base, uh, like pole. There's a post that comes... <laughs> there's a post that comes up and I can kind of bolt it to that and just give it a little bit of reinforcement. And she's like, you know, I didn't put a lot of pressure on it this morning, but, uh, you know, I said, uh, I'm just thinking ahead. So it, it'll just make it that much better. But now I have this set up so that, uh, even the, the little arm that comes out and across goes across and rests on the dashboard. So it's even, it's even better. And I'm going to show you that right now. Cause I know I suck at showing you stuff. Hold on. So goes in down there which is kind of hard to see because now I'm under a shade tree and it comes all along here and I'm gonna I'm gonna put that little center right across here at the very top of this thing I put a little piece of foam in there because this was dinking on this metal and I figure every time I hit something it would jiggle against it it's not hitting this there's there's enough of a gap there you know I can get my finger in between it and then I brought this piece down so that it leveled up right along here and this is where I'm talking about where it where it hits the dash and then of course I put my little rope tie back on that thing just to keep it from moving but you know like you can see that's not going anywhere uh, I'm on my way to the UPS store now I bought another one of these which is that PGY tech easy clamp ball head whatever the frick it is that goes with the mantis pod 
because I want to start using my Mantis pod again, but I took that piece off so that I could use it elsewhere and I ordered another one. So I'm going to go get that right now, but right now I'm going to pass out because it's so freaking hot in here. So let's go get parts and then I'll show you, uh, I'll discuss more. Hey, just for shits and giggles, I'm filming now with the AC running full blast again because I'm roasting and I actually burned my fingers on the keys and the, the Allen wrenches that I had sitting on the seat. They were in the direct sunlight and I didn't realize that it, it was as hot as it was and I went to pick up my keys to move them and the wrenches and literally burned my hands. That's how hot it got and I didn't realize that it was that supposed to be that warm. I mean it's 82 out now but I guess sitting in the direct sunlight for all that time while I was taking all this shit apart and trying to put it back together it got hot and I was out there doing all that in addition to cutting all those freaking boxes which already had me schwitzing so I'm trying to look and see where the audio is on this. It's like four-ish and this is sitting right like a couple inches right above both vents and I have one of the vents angled up to blow on the camera just to uh, keep it cool because you know when it's on the dashboard it, it gets hot so that's another plus of having this set up here in that it allows me to have the AC blowing up on the camera which will keep it cool and keep it from overheating because that's sort of like my biggest problem is that when it's sitting on the dashboard it's in the direct sunlight and there's no way for me to shield that now I can have the AC running on it problem solved okay kids we're off to get Bean. It's only 1.30, so this is early Bean, but she wanted Bean. And it was because, and I agree, the diner coffee we had this morning is pretty weak, so. And she's used to sludge. I, I don't care, but yeah, she's used to sludge, and she did not get her sludge today, so we'll have to go espresso it up. Okay, kids, it's been a pretty busy day. Uh, I'm, again, drenched and hot now. I'm just going to be hot for the rest of the day because of how hot it got. I mean, it got up to over 86, 87 degrees, and I thought that today was supposed to be the first of the, of the cooler days, which is why I chose to slice up all that freaking cardboard and to do that project in the Forerunner again. And it jokes on me because it, I literally burned my hands, like I said, on, on my keys and those Allen wrenches. <laughs> Anyways, so enough about that. Uh, we did just go out and get bean and all that kind of stuff and went around and I got some, some more uh, stuff that I'm able to eat over the next couple of days. And, uh, you know, so we got in there and she is, is fine with the placement of the Forerunner setup now. Now that I got it out of the middle of, of her seat where, you know, she was going to have her knee bashed and her face smashed if I got into an accident and no airbag. So that's all taken care of now. I moved it over and truth be told, I told her it's actually in a better place than it was before because now it's even more fortified by being right next to the column for the ram mount and I was able to you know, use that contraption to sort of bolt it together towards the top. And then I wrapped a towel around it and put duct tape over it. So now she isn't going to bash anything on any of those sharp corners. So now that crossbar that comes across is sitting across the dashboard right at the spot with the, you know, the, where the air vents go across. So that gives it even more fortification. So it actually worked out better that I, that I had to move it. And, and I'm good with that. So four runners done. It's perfect, literally perfect. I finally got it and, and it's very sturdy and not jiggly and it ain't gonna come apart. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.